Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a pre- so much cat hair. I'll give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? Today, if you have not seen the title, or read the thumbnail. I am watching the movie The Great Outdoors. Something I need to say is this movie has been on polls on Patreon for months because I have developed this love of John Candy from Spaceballs, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Uncle Buck. Like, I love John Candy. And so when y'all found that out, The Great Outdoors was always suggested and it just kept losing polls for some reason. I think finally my patrons were kind of like, okay, she obviously clearly really wants to watch this movie. So let's get her to watch this movie. So that's what we're doing today. All I know is John Candy's in it. And I'm going to be very honest with you. That's enough to get me hype about it. The Great Outdoors, if I had to guess, is probably, and knowing what John Candy has been in previously, I think this is going to be like a, maybe a vacation or a trip gone wrong. Oh, my shirt today is, snap my bra straps, voodoo chips, and fun fact, this makeup that I have on, very minimal, but why am I so impressed by it? Because I just woke up from a nap and it didn't move at all. Wow. I don't know if I'll know anybody else who's in it. That might be the quickest preview review, honestly. I know I say that often, but like I've been filming total without any edits, two minutes and 21 seconds. So without further ado, no more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's millennial movie Monday, which is The Great Outdoors starring John Candy. hot second since I've watched something with John Candy in it. Uncle Buck, maybe? Dan Aykroyd! Love him. John Candy, knew it, excited. I just love John Candy so much. I also find him incredibly cute. Like, he's so attractive. John Candy, I don't know if I've ever said it. John Candy could get it. Don't talk back. <laughs> Let that deer swim in. Him got places to go, people to see. Oh, I didn't realize this was another John Hughes film. I did not realize that. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. John Hughes films for me, if you haven't been here long, have been like a hit or miss. Nature all around us, boys. Breathe that fresh air, kiddos. Check out the shotgun lamp. Isn't that something? That's classy right there. That's cool enough to rival the leg lamp. Well, Sheila. Go ahead. Uh, clearly before COVID times, if he's gonna risk it. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Don't blow the horn. Don't blow the horn. Go find Wormer. She hates people. Wormer. <laughs> She's an eight, too. Too bad you're not a dog. That was so much. That was so much. Oh, that's a gorgeous I love that he's just riding on the hood of the car. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you know hmm. what a loon is, noodle head? Yeah, we have one in our family. I don't get that joke. Editing Ashley here to say that I didn't hear them say loon. But now that I'm editing and I heard them say loon and he's like, we have one in our family, that just means they have like crazy people in their family. I did get the joke. I just didn't hear it correctly. Well, exactly. We could get the shits from the well water. Oh, what did he say? Well, that's a risk you take with well water, honestly, especially if you're not used to it. Yes, Dan! Okay, baby. We weren't invited. Ah, they'll be tickled to death to see us. Don't invite yourself like that. From me to you. you. Are we grumpy and old men this or what? You know, we can't even use a bathroom till someone finds the toilet seat. Okay, toilet seat is not a necessity. As a woman who has sat down on a toilet when the husband leaves the toilet seat up, you can make it through anything once you get past the initial shock. Okay, get into it, baby. Tree woman. Oh, I love it when I'm the oak tree woman. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a one class bra, easy. Dan, OnlyFans was not around then. That was quite a surprise. That's one way to put it. In the whole week you'll be here. <laughs> Love that for you. Why the hell would you wanna come up to a plant infested no man's land like this? Some people like the outdoors that are different than the beach. Look around you, Roman, for God's sakes. Ah, uh, that is beautiful. Low-grade radioactive waste, all safely contained, sunken in the lake, and sealed. Sunken in the lake? No. 
That's why the well water gives you this shit. While the ambitious scramble for wealth and power that Do they have Star Wars cups? Is that Jabba the Hutt? Probably gonna die of heart attacks and strokes long before you. Hope so, <laughs> he said, I hope so. No relative of mine is gonna eat hot dogs as long as he's sharing. What's wrong with hot dogs? Okay, too far. Too that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Whoa, I was about to say you ate that right off the grill. You know they make those things out of us yet, you know? Lips and assholes. And they're delicious. Fashion on like assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we're running a pontoon boat. Oh, pontoon. pontoon boat. Way to go. Barbecue out. You know, you have a great time with these things. Put your cooler on the side, drink a couple of brewskis, you know? But you can't All really right, enjoy a speedboat. Right? I mean, I've seen them go by yeah, and they're like real fast. Poster. Keyword there being speed, Ashley. Hey, how, how about if the kids go out and catch fireflies? Oh, I love doing that. Uh, I had a friend when I was growing up. She would get the lightning bugs and we would catch them and that's fun. But she would squish them and then like rub them on her face and say war paint. Like I'm weird, but that was too far for me. Story that might save your lives. <gasps> Scary story time! And there was the biggest I would have simply shitted my pants. Razor sharp. Freddy Krueger. Oh, too far. Ah! Too far. Too far. Scared. Mom, mom, it's no, fine. No, no, no. I'm it's thinking fine. about tonight. I was going to say, you're telling a scary to a story to kids, and you were trying to have some sexy time earlier. You, you finish the story. There ain't sexy time for nobody. Pump. Pump. Just that slow, my heart be like. <laughs> oh, even the floorboards? This bear was strong as hell. Yeah, it ran off. You never saw it again. So if you see a bald bear, just know it's returned. Eh, she may be out there. We can never know for sure. No body, no death. <laughs> that seems like an awful idea! Dad, all right? Oh, Benny, Benny, honey. Okay, so these kids, none of these people have a sense of humor is what I'm saying. I was just trying to have some fun. Your family sucks, dude. The validity of the tale which Uncle Chet shared with us this evening. Could you have made that sentence any wordier? It's attacked by a band of escaped army psychiatric patients. I don't want Uncle Chet's bear story to upset you in the same way. I don't think the bear story compares to what you just said. No more thinking about bears. Just the crazy escaped patients that killed people. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bears attack or bite. I love raccoons! I love raccoons! Oh! My grandma, a shitload of raw hot dogs! Exactly, okay, you know what, I'm a raccoon. My grandma had a raccoon. The mama got ran over, she went to move the dead body out of the road, and there was babies, and so she kept the one that was alive. And uh, any name, anyway, his, his name was Remy. They purr, did you know that? I didn't know that. Did you know that raccoon, ra raccoons also don't produce their own spit? Where are you? He's enjoying some quiet, oh. No, he's not. He's cleaning up that mess. Hello, Jerry Asmund, please. Yeah, Roman Craig. Can we talk about that phone? You gonna get your nose hairs? Yeah, you gotta. It's important. I thought I was gonna see Dan Aykroyd ass. Yo, that kid's plaid that? pants. That's a lot. Have green pants, sweatshirt. red sweatshirt, blue sweatshirt on as well. A lot of colors going on. Yeah, do you mind if I, uh... I love this kid's hair, though. He has great hair. It's the men, the guys, together, rugged, manly, all that... Urgh, men things, yeah! Now, if you meet any friends, bring them back. We'll give them a ride and suck my wake. Um, what was that last bit? Um, um, you need to keep it in the water. Boats stay in the water. Yeah, just give me the skis already. Oh, I can't wait to see how this is gonna go. I wanna ski so bad, but like I've broken my arms six times, so like maybe I shouldn't ski. There's some trouble. Come on, Ben. What are we gonna do? What does that mean? What kind of trouble's gonna happen on the water? If you crash, you crash. It's water. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, all right. Oh, no, great. no. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> when you're in trouble, let go of the rope. It looks like you're in trouble. Do it. Who cares? Full send it. Go. Oh, those are fine. They're not hard. It's obnoxious, but you're handling it like a champ. Stuck the landing and lost a ski. You're getting bonus points for style, my guy. What does it look like I'm doing? 
Oh, are you leaving? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What happened that got you so crazy? Have you been present since the Roman got there? His kids, they're spooky, all right? His kids are creepy. I don't. <laughs> Don't. Come on, I'm I hate I'm it when tickle fights happen. If I'm mad, do not tickle me. That is only gonna make me want to punch you. Why did you do this? Why now? I was ready to go. Listen, listen, throw her on the bed. Take her. Do it. Come on. Oh. Roman's making goat cheese pizza and we'll take it over the lot. Goat cheese pizza? Damn. Them shouts are shoked. Yell down the hole so they can hear their voices echo. It's gonna wake up the skinwalkers that live in the mountains. Don't do that. <laughs> you wanna go to Whitewater? Go to Whitewater. Yeah, you don't have to do everything together. Like, if you wanna go to Whitewater, you go, and Chet will stay back and happy birthday. Well, personally, I'd rather see a 46 inch bust singing Burn in Love. I bet Dolly has an Elvis album, I'm sure, or a cover of one song. Pants are riding up the butt, something fierce. Don't you hate it when that happens? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Uh, do you speak English? I was gonna say, yeah, he's probably hard of hearing. He's the oldest man in Canada. How about a nice group photo, huh? Give me your camera. Are we sure he's still alive? It's he, no. Come on, it's cute. Take the picture, call it a day. Take the picture, call it a day. Bill died in a car on the way over here. Didn't do that, he did it. You're disgusting. Do you have a dead body propped up celebrating his birthday? You better be careful where you're aiming that stick. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay? What about the bird? I'm speechless. I didn't have any verbal reaction to that because that was just perfection on its own. <laughs> Look at those bears. Eating trash? Ah, nature. Is he gonna feed the bears? That's literally the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Oh. No, no thanks. No thanks. Can't do that. No thank you. Mm -mm. Shoot! Come on! Make up your mind. Do you want him there or do you not want him there? Because you're giving mixed signals. Oh god, is it gonna break the glass? Just put it in reverse and slowly back up. Um, bad things are happening! And you got the two weirdos in the back that are dead ass asleep missing all this action. Yeah, I don't really know what the law is about driving with bears on your vehicles, but it feels like it's not the safest thing to do. You got those two people next to the gazebo just making out? If I was her, I wouldn't just be hanging out next to two people making out. I feel like that's very weird. You don't know how local I am. What a weird line. Okay, we got some teenage angst going on here. She's a little bitchy. Come on, let's do something. Oh, I know we're here. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. There's no rules. It'll be fun. Little nighttime boat ride. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Chet. Something. <coughs> you got allergies? You and I coming up to the woods is like your father bringing you here. Are you just now putting that together, you dumbass? Yeah. Raccoons are back. I for real love raccoons. How you doing? I mean, he's persistent, and that's very cute. I was in kind of a bad mood, okay? If that was you in kind of a bad mood, I would hate to see you in a real bad mood. Can I see you? If you can find me. Well, I mean, he's found you twice now, so like, his track record for tracking you down is Pretty good. That yellow and purple, that's loud, Dan. That's loud, and that's coming from me. Like, have you seen my decor? Oh, I love horse rides in the mountains, except I always end up with the really lazy ones. But that's okay, because that's sometimes the most fun. You're not rushed, you know? Now you really do have to walk the trail. Where's that ball slapping nag you were riding? <laughs> <laughs> he already backhanded it. Mm -hmm, bitch. What the hell? We got a whole day of activities planned. No thanks. He's this is enough activity for him. Thank you though. See, he told you he was gonna find you, girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blue Marlin, buddy, you're gonna know what fishing's all about with a capital. Jeez F Louise, can he slow down just a little bit? I can't keep up with him. Cocktails into him, he becomes an expert on everything. I don't need cocktails for that. I was gonna say, I was gonna say. Gonna shot set us up. <laughs> shot, 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 everybody. Rain, 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 rain. And that's good. That's good. There's quite a hairdo you got going there, Red. A neo skunk thing. Or... That, too far. Too far. Six. 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 Six times being struck by lightning. Six. 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 six Sixty-six times. Sixty-six times. God, that's gotta hurt. To say the least. 
Can I introduce Mr. Thick Dick to Mr. Urinal Cake? What? There'll be times we'll go a month without going to bed together. Oh no. I think the only way I'll get any pleasure is by leaning against the washer during the spin cycle. Have you ever seen wider legs? <laughs> You know, I don't even care about the side story because everything that just happened, I don't spit, everything that just happened in that pub scene was hilarious. I've never even had a girlfriend. Nerd. What would you call me? A friend that is a girl. And you're leaving in three days. I was going to say, these summer romances never work. They never work. Just break up. Oh, oh Lord, y'all are children. Children! Children! Bat thing! Oh, it's a bat. Jesus. It's a, a bat. It's a singular bat. These are city folk, and you can tell it. What's your cabin? We didn't order one with bats. <laughs> they didn't ask you to come here. You want me to take care of the thing? I'll take care of the thing. That's all. I'm just one. It's just a little bat. Get a net. Listen, I'm not saying that I would go in there braver than them. I'm just saying that I think I would suck it up enough to get a net or a little shovel, give it a little love tap, scoop it up, take it outside, wash my hands, go back to sleep. Why? He's nocturnal. He'll think it's daytime like this. But then you can't see. You are not nocturnal. Y'all are not going to get your deposit back. I can tell you that. We don't need your help from outside of the club. If you're not willing to suit up and grab a tennis racket, we don't need your advice. You could have just grabbed it. Could have just grabbed it. What a fighter. Oh, boy. Pick him up while he's out. Throw his ass outside. You have my permission never to speak to me. Well, once again, you're going to leave in three days, so you're not going to see each other again, so. God, these teenagers are in it. I did not know how to kiss like that when I was a teenager. I barely know how to kiss like that now. Six or it finishes, everybody eats for free. Oh, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, ma'am. A 96 ounce steak. Oh, so that's where that shirt's from. I have one that says I ate a 96er, but I didn't know what movie it was from. I'm sure y'all have told me, but I couldn't remember. I should have wore that shirt. Good Lord. Do you have a time limit? I can't remember. Did she say it was a time limit? The journey of a 96er begins with one small bite. Oh, because he has that date and now his dad's going to eat a 96 pound steak. Uh, she's gonna be upset they're gonna break up. Once again, that's fine because he's gonna leave in three days anyways. Oh, bubble guts. Bubble guts. You got it. You're so close. You're so close. The real question is, how long does it have to stay down? Oh, I would vomit. I would vomit. I would vomit. Uh, that is the shirt I have! I didn't know what that was from! Oh my god! He ate the fatty gristle bits? Mm-mm, mm-mm. I would have vomited immediately. I love this side mission of the raccoons. This is my favorite. <laughs> okay, I love the raccoons. Point blank period. I know I've said that like three times. I love them. Don't they look like little beans? They look like little beans. Maggots on that meat. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Yeah, I was gonna say, you just ate 96 ounces of a steak. You cannot clean up that maggot meat. Let me tell you that. Dad, no way. Cut it out, will you? They don't bite. Oh. No, they suck blood. They literally, that's literally what they're known for. Is latching. I didn't realize that people fish with leeches. If there is a scene of them covered in leeches. Am I gonna throw up now? Like, like, do, do leeches just sh suck, suck blood? Do they carry diseases? How do you get them off? Do they hurt? I don't know. Sometimes I like to think that leeches aren't real. You might as well pour ice cubes in there. You're never gonna have a fire going that way. You if you got a better idea, then you do it. Oh my God, he's getting on my nerves. Come on over, let's see a little action. After all, you know everything. Yeah, if you're gonna talk the talk, walk the walk. Or light the fire. 
You know damn well what he means. I think they're trying Ooh! The wife said on now, you know it's petty. It's go time. Throw aside our plans to come up here to show these dead asses how to start. They didn't want you here. Would you like one to match his? Hey, take it hey, out. Do you want to? I don't like confrontation. This makes me uncomfortable. Go find yourself a spin cycle. Yeah, go find. What the hell was that supposed to mean? No, I was gonna say, uh, Chad, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Okay, okay, okay. Nobody's blowing anything out their ass, okay? <laughs> Might as well blow the whole family out your ass while you're at it, Dad. And those raw hot dogs. Blow those out of your ass, too. Aunt Kate and Uncle Roman are incredible buttheads, right? Exactly. You get it. You get it. Because this is so good and so sure, it should be illegal. And it If it's so good, why hasn't anybody joined you in on it? I know how you really feel about me. Do you? I mean, he's made it pretty clear. If I was ever to give you something, then you'd figure there'd be strings attached. You seem like the kind to do that, yeah. Time you stab somebody in the back, Chester, you better check under the stalls for feet. Why do all these movies need us to check under the stalls for feet? I apologize to you both. It's a terrible thing to say. Also, he mentioned earlier that him and Kate have been married for 12 years. You mean to tell me you hang on, you hung on to that conversation that you weren't supposed to hear for 12 years? If that's okay with it, is your checkbook in the person? Uh, this is a trap, and you're about to lose your marriage over it. What's the trap? I hope he feels like a piece of dump. Oh yeah, you gotta find your little girlfriend. Let's go. Uh, where are you two little gremlins running off to in the rain at the night time? We're bankrupt. We're busted. We're busted? Oh, girl, you didn't know? I lost everything. Oh. Why didn't you tell me? Did you think- You didn't know? The wife didn't know? Now you know I never turned my back on family. I know, that's why he came up here. Yeah, he manipulated and used you, my guy. What, you and your brother in the can at the wedding? I made it up. You a real piece of shit. A 67th time? Does Roman not know where his kids are? Like, have y'all realized y'all are missing some children? Oh my god, you're in the woods, in the mountains, in the dark, in a rainstorm, your kids are missing, and the power just went out. $110 for a lighter doesn't even work. Why'd you pay $110 for a lighter? That's why you're bankrupt, my guy. Them little shit buckets went to the mine, didn't they? You mean to tell me that all four of y'all stayed in the house? Like, I feel like, I know the dads are looking, but like, maybe the mom could have helped find her own kids, maybe. What happened to Skunk Man? Where'd he go? They're your children. Suck it up. Like, what's gonna happen when he goes down the slidey part? Didn't he just go, you know, slide down the slidey part like his kids did? Oh, dude's going to get rope. Got it, got it, got him. You know what I'm kind of surprised by? I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen the bald bear. I know it was a made-up story, but like how funny would it have been? It's wet, so it won't explode, right? Like, so like why are we worried about wet old dynamite? It's old and wet. And y'all don't have matches, so you're safe, kind of, other than the fact that you're in the dilapidated mine. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow, shout out, shout out to Robin for having the upper body strength of Hercules to climb up this incline that is slippery with two children on his back while being claustrophobic. Good for you for being a hero. Robin, girl, oh God, they didn't run into back. each other. They didn't run into each other and the bear is down there. One at a time, I'll okay, you know what? The bald bear is terrifying. Then I'll pull you up. Okay, you know what? I said Roman had upper body strength. Listen to me when I tell you, if John Candy pulls this big ass bear up that slope, that's a big old bear. She, her whole body shake when she walks. She remind me of beans. Not them little raccoons, this bear. Oh, great. Okay, great. So now, now you're getting chased by the bald headed bear. Don't turn around and look back. Keep going till you make it to the cabin. Wow, so many mudslides on this campground. Back, everybody! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back with bad news. Back with bad news. Big. Ooh, big. Big? All right, we'll make a big one. Big. <laughs> big bear, chase me! Yep, 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 yep. And they don't even know that they were in the cave with that bear. Ooh, get 
fucking shotgun lamp! Yeah, shut up! Why did you yell? You were safe! But he has shotgun lamp! And that's what's important! That's the most redneck thing I've ever seen, and I've seen some redneck shit. A bald ass bear. Aw, she found you this time. Romantic. You're the best. You're not so bad yourself. Mm, actually, no, you're pretty shady. You're pretty awful, actually. It's just till he gets on his feet, honey. No. What are you saying? We have plenty of room. Connie? No. To the memories. Okay, fun little handshake. Are these bloopers or just like. You know what? I love Dan Aykroyd and John Candy so much. I'll watch this. I don't care. Na 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 na. Why is John not getting in on this? Why he being a party pooper by the bar? Get into it, Connie. She said. You know Dan straight up pulled something after this. Na 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 na. Is that it? Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay, honestly, I do remember now that y'all said that Dan Aykroyd and John Candy were in this movie together, but, like, sometimes, sometimes it takes me so long to get to movies that it's just, I forget. And sometimes I just don't be listening. Oh my god, this movie is so much fun. I just love John Candy. I wish he was still alive. Dan Aykroyd, love him. Love him so much. Top, what did he say? Time to take the big dick to the, to the urinal, patty, whatever he said. Oh my god, this movie was really funny. I have missed this kind of simple <clears throat> 80s humor. And not say as simple as in bad, but just like, I mean, just like planes, trains, and automobiles. Okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to John Hughes, like Breakfast Club, hated it. Planes, trains, and automobiles, loved it. 16 Candles, enjoyed it a lot more than Breakfast Club. But then you have this absolute hit. It's like, I don't understand. Like, John Hughes films are either a big hit or a big miss for me. This is another big hit. And maybe it is just like John Candy. Dan Aykroyd, love him. Because I love Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And that had Steve Martin and John Candy in it. Loved it. I, five out of five stars. The Great Outdoors. I am so glad that I was persistent on putting this movie on polls. And also persistent. You guys have been persistent in telling me that I should watch this film. Because you're absolutely correct. Loved it. It has a lot of adult jokes. Oh my god. The spin cycle joke? Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. You ain't gotta rely on your washer, baby girl. They make some that you just keep in your drawer. Anyways, five out of five stars for The Great Outdoors. Love this movie. I have missed seeing John Candy. Pleasantly surprised by Dan Aykroyd being in this. And once again, I stand by what I said. I was more interested in the raccoon side story. And actually, let me just play this. Because if I don't play this and there's like a raccoon completion story at the end and I miss it, I'm gonna be pissed. I like the raccoon story a lot better than a teenage love story, okay? Beaver Patrol is a song. Oh! There is a raccoon side story! Oh god, I'm so excited! Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. This motion picture is protected under the laws of the United States, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Raccoon side story. Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh no! The bear's name was Jody! This movie is perfection. This movie is perfection. Five out of five stars for The Great Outdoors starring John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. Perfection. If you have not seen the 1988 The Great Outdoors, watch it right now. It's great and it's funny and I loved every second of it. I love this movie. Okay, five out of five stars for The Great Outdoors. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because this Friday we are continuing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I think is Thor Ragnarok. Am I saying that right? Regardless, we're continuing and it's another Thor film. So stick around right here. I don't know what's coming up next Monday because uh, I need to make a poll on Patreon. The next Friday, Clerks rounded out Spider-Man 3 thanks to Tachi. So, so that's what's coming up on Fridays at least. Don't know about Mondays. I'll see you right back here. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And I will see you right back here on Friday. Bye.